Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in uh, to this special event that we have here at the new Gardner Community Center over on Waterford Street. Uh, this is a really exciting day. Two years ago, we had our announcement just on the other side of that wall to say that we were converting the former Waterford Street School into our new nonprofit community center so that our nonprofit community in Gardner can work on a more collaborative basis, more close basis, literally and figuratively, and grow their programs that they offer to our community here. And we're taking the next step in that journey here, signing the official lease document with the Gardner CAC uh, so they can start their work to fit out their space in the new community center. This has been a long time coming, and I'm really happy and excited for us to be here today. Uh, I'd like to kick it off. Uh, next to our city council president who played an integrant role uh, with the city council on making it so that we could get this far in this project, uh, our city council president, Elizabeth Kaczynskis. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here today. This is very exciting, as the mayor had said. I'd like to acknowledge my fellow councilors here today, Councilor Dernalowitz, uh, Councilor Heath, Councilor Mack, and Councilor Tyros as well here today joining us. Uh, you know, the work of the City Council really is on behalf of everyone in the city that we represent, and there is, um, you know, a lot of funding sources that need to be allocated to this project. Uh, it's really exciting to have a former school building being repurposed in a very positive way for the city. It directly affects everybody here in the city. Um, so I'm really excited to be here, and we are very happy to be able to support this effort and do our part as city councilors. I would like to next introduce State Representative John Zlotnick. Uh, very excited uh, to be here today uh, for this big milestone in this uh, redevelopment project of the former Waterford Street School. Uh, this has been a top priority of mine and the mayor's, uh, and um, you know, so this is a, a very key piece of this, uh, the CAC, uh, beginning the process of moving over here. I've seen to it that the state has been very financially supportive of this project. Uh, I intend to continue that support uh, and happy to announce today uh, that the state is providing $100,000 to the CAC to facilitate their move and the renovations that they will need uh, to make this building their home. But to save this uh, building from the wrecking ball, I think is very important. Uh, credit to the Nicholson administration and the city council uh, for really prioritizing, uh, repurposing, uh, or selling, or reusing uh, former uh, school buildings and former municipal buildings. I think it's a welcome change here in the city of Gardner. Uh, buildings like this, if we had to rebuild, uh, the cost would be astronomical and we couldn't do it. Uh, so it is important that the buildings that we can save and repurpose, uh, that we do that because we certainly have no shortage of need for space in the city uh, for all these programs like the CAC, like Growing Places, like the Senior Center, uh, that we expect to all inhabit this building eventually. Um, it's going to be a good thing for all those organizations, but most importantly, it's going to be a great thing for the people of the city of Gardner. Uh, so I'm very happy to be playing a role uh, in this project uh, and very happy, as always, to partner with the city of Gardner. Um, and then uh, the star of the show today, uh, the CAC, I'm happy to uh, welcome up their executive director, Julie Meehan. Good morning. As you may have all guessed, I am very happy and excited to be here today. Um, when I first got the phone call and the email that the CAC was available for our lease, our lease signing, it was ready to go, the first thing that came to mind was a quote from Neil Armstrong, which sounds weird because we're relocating to Waterford Street, not to the moon, um, but one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And for us at the CAC, this is such a transformative step for us in our ability to connect with the community, to serve the community, and to most importantly, to impact the community. <clears throat> so just to touch on a few of our programs that we have, um, most of us know us as food security programs in Gardner, and I am proud to say that we've increased our capacity by 63% over the past two years. In October alone, we have over 1,000 people that came to our office just for the food pantry for food. Um, our fellowship table continues to serve a free meal each Thursday. The Senior Cafe continues to grow our numbers. Um, 
And those are just our food security programs. On top of our food security programs, our backpack program, clothing closet, Thanksgiving and Christmas food baskets, holiday gifts for children ages newborn to 12, the help connection, emergency assistance, and the clothing closet have all increased our capacity and the number of people that we're serving each week. Um, I just want to say, as I started with, we are all so excited from everybody in our staff, our board of directors, and all of our volunteers are so excited to be moving here to increase our capacity, our ability to serve the community, the increased accessibility, and the impact that we can make in Gardner. So thank you to the city of Gardner, Mayor Nicholson, State Representative John Zlotnick, all of our city councilors, the Community Foundation of North Central Mass, the Community Foundation of the Health Foundation of Central Mass and the United Way. So thank you so much for helping take our agency into the next step and start our new chapter. Thank you. And I'd like to finally introduce our board president, Ruben Cabrera. Well, thank you so much for being here today at this special moment. Thank you to Mayor Nicholson, State Representative Slotnick, City Council, uh, those of you who are here from the community uh, to share in this moment with us. I've been on the board of the CAC for five years. Uh, my terms, our term will end uh, this coming June. And quite honestly, I was beginning to doubt whether or not this would happen. Uh, it just seems that every time we turned around, there was a little delay or a little push or whatever. But uh, to be able to stand here today and to uh, celebrate this moment with you and with uh, my fellow board members of the CAC uh, is just a great honor. At the uh, church that I serve here in Gardner, Bethany Baptist Church, uh, we are in the midst of a series uh, on values. And it just so happens that the value we're gonna be talking about this Sunday is the value of building authentic community. Creating authentic connections amongst people and in our church and in our community with our community so that we can be what God wants us to be and accomplish the things he wants us to accomplish. One of the things that happens in Gardner that I see so often having moved here a little bit more than six years ago is that the city creates places where authentic community can happen. A number of years ago, the city made available the facility on Pleasant Street where we are currently uh, housed and will soon come over here uh, uh, and begin to do the work that, uh, that we have been doing. Um, and uh, we're excited about that because both of these things have created open doors for people in our community to come and experience community, uh, to practice one another and caring for one another, supporting one another, encouraging one another. And so uh, to be able to be here today and to be a part of this is a great joy for me. Um, one of the things you may have noticed about uh, our world today, particularly those of you who may be in real estate, is that um, when people build houses today, rarely, if ever, do they put a front porch on. Uh, if there's any entertainment space or public space or community space, it tends to be in the back where it's safe, where we don't have to interact with people. Uh, as I view uh, this facility and the things that are gonna happen here, not only with the CAC, but growing places in the senior center, and uh, all just, I view this as, as a front porch as a place where our community can come together and meet the, each other's needs, do that one anothering that needs to happen. And so on behalf of the board and on behalf of the people of this community, thank you so much for making this available. Thank you so much for what will happen here in the coming years. Uh, in closing, let me just say a word with regard to Julie. Uh, Julie is a treasure to us. Julie and the staff at the CAC work so hard and are so diligent in the things that they are called to in, in our city. And uh, this really would not be happening, uh, at least from our perspective, uh, if Julie was not uh, the director and did not uh, put together the staff that she has. And so we appreciate her and I wanna say that in closing. Thank you so much again for being here and uh, we look forward to all of the good things that are gonna happen uh, in the coming years as we serve together. Uh, that concludes our speaking program here. Uh, I just want to close by saying that this is something that we've made a, a concerted effort to do lately. 
in making sure that we don't become Gardner's next absentee landlord, but taking that even further and making it so that Gardner is a place that can grow and continue to support the people who live here. Making sure that we don't have the next School Street school here on Waterford Street where we're looking at you know, tearing down a building to open up Promise and remove blight that way and keeping Promise alive here instead by making it so we don't get to that point. Uh, there's a lot of work that we have left to do, uh, but for now I think we've got a uh, document we need to sign. So uh, we're going to break, sign the lease, and then start the ball rolling here. Just for the benefit of people watching, and it's important to say this too, just because we're signing the lease here in the Frank Chase Memorial Room, that's soon to be the food pantry here at the uh, community center, the CAC is still going to be over on Pleasant Street for now until the work here is done. Uh, so pay attention for when that move happens, but for now if you need CAC services, continue to go over on Pleasant Street. Uh, but. Let's go sign the lease. Thank you.